Hi Capricorn, this is your September 6th through September 12th weekly tarot reading. I do multiple spreads per reading. Please like, subscribe and donate to support this channel. This first spread is a new love this week. We have the Three of Cups, the Nine of Cups, we have the Ten of Swords clarified by the Four of Pentacles, and we have the Eight of Cups clarified by the Two of Cups. Lots of cups here, lots of emotions, lots of feelings. Uh, the very first thing when I saw this spread I thought that uh, you are ending something, you're leaving something or someone behind or you're just going to stop pretending or you're, you're going to stop holding back. So we've got the Three of Cups with the Nine of Cups. Three of Cups is all about celebration, it's all about going out, it's all about spending time with your friends. Right, then the Nine of Cups is just feeling good about yourself, feeling good about what's going on, you know, enjoying some um, adult beverages. We've got the Ten of Swords clarified by the Four of Pentacles. I think the Four of Pentacles is uh, a card of holding back on this particular spread. So that is coming to an end. You're gonna let yourself loose this week. Um, so you are either leaving someone, like I said, with this Eight of Cups right there on the right, or you are leaving something behind and something and in this case some, that something is you holding back or um, you just leaving your old belief system behind. Something, either something small like that or something significant like that. Right? And with the Eight of Cups Clarified by the Two of Cups, you are e either leaving someone in search of love or you perhaps already know whom you're going towards with this Two of Cups, or you're just deciding to, you know, like I said, let yourself lose or see what's out there. You're on your journey looking for love. Hopefully it all makes sense, but... Um, the only card that's missing here is the full card. That's the whole energy of this read. If, if uh, I could combine all these cards in a single card, that would be the full card. And the full card is all about setting yourself free, taking a leap of faith, le leaving something behind, um, starting something from scratch. So that's exactly what's going on here. I don't know if you um, already have someone you're leaving the situation for or you're just going in search for love with the two of cups right there all right that's what i see here i usually do extensions for new love spreads but i am not going to do it for you because um, i think you're just leaving something or someone behind and you're setting yourself free i don't think you're going towards someone in particular you're just looking for you're starting to, you're looking for love pretty much um, if you do meet someone new over the week, over the course of this week, leave me a comment. Let me know what happens. I'll be glad to hear from you. Capricorn, if you are married or if you are in a relationship, this spread is for you. We've got the Four of Swords, we have the Six of Wands, and then we have the Seven of Pentacles, clarified by the Devil, and uh, it's also clarified by Ten of Pentacles. You could be dealing with another Capricorn. <laughs> so I think the Devil card in this case is you. Capricorn, this is your personal card, and uh, I think you're coming out of some kind of a break. You could have been on vacation recently, or it's possible you took some time off to think about your next steps, your action plan, something you wanted to uh, think about for a while with the Four of Swords, the first card on the left, right? And uh, here you are. With the six of wands, you're ready, you're recharged, or you have a plan, uh, you feel motivated, you feel inspired with the six of wands, and uh, you're starting to do something here with the seven of pentacles, right? The seven of pentacles is a waiting card, but this is the type of waiting w where you've already done something. You already planted the seeds, and you're waiting for them to bloom, to come into fruition. And it's clarified by the devil, which is you. And the Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles is uh, a lot of money. <laughs> so perhaps you are gonna, you, you're about to make an investment, you're about to start a new project, or you're about to improve something in your existing business if you're on your own business, and then you'll be uh, working on that and waiting for it to uh, make you more money or make you money. 
right? And all of this is most likely uh, together with your significant other. Or you're just working on this whole thing to improve your family situation or to improve your relationship situation, right? So uh, the two of you could move in together or the two of you so could have future together. Basically, you're working on the, um, your future relationship so it would be as abundant as possible. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. You're working on the abundance in the future. All right, cool. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Capricorn, this week. We, keep in mind, it could be somebody from a couple of months ago, a year ago, or a couple of years ago. We have the Four of Swords, the Five of Cups. We have the King of Swords and the Five of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You are most likely dealing with this King of Swords, who is either... Um, an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or this person is just cold as ice and someone who is ruthless. So I don't really even see the two of you even trying to get back together. I don't see any offers here. All I see is a lot of regret. I see the Five of Swords and the Five of Swords on the bottom of the deck is all about some kind of a breakup, a major fight, or somebody is just saying, you know what, I've had enough, I'm walking away. And uh, we also have the Four of Swords with the Five of Cups, right? The Four of Swords is somebody who is uh, taking a break, somebody who is thinking about what happened. And the Five of Cups is all about regretting what happened in the past, regretting what uh, went down between the two of you. Even if this person does make, a, make an attempt to get back together with you, I don't really see any reconciliation happening here. But most likely, like I said, this is... Um, the two of you are just taking a break from each other. I don't know if you'll ever be able to get back together because the Five of Swords is a pretty bad card to have, especially on the bottom of the deck. So perhaps this person was not good for you after all and um, you should move on. Let's talk about your work, your business and your finances, Capricorn, this week. We've got the Six of Swords, we have the Seven of Wands and we've got the Six of Pentacles. So yeah, it's kind of similar to the previous spread. The couple spread, the marriage spread I just did for you a couple of minutes ago. So in that spread you were taking a break but then you were jumping into action and working on something. And it's pretty much the same thing that we see here. So the Six of Swords is you probably coming back from your vacation or you, if you came up with a new plan, you're starting to implement that new plan. The Six of Swords is often called the uh, rough patch being over. Or some kind of a stagnation being over, right? And uh, this is also you in the seven of ones. This is you jumping into action. You're starting to uh, actively do something. It could be a new job, could be a new business adventure, or you're just you know working on whatever you already have, getting ready for the holiday season that's coming up, right? So basically, if you were taking a break, if you were stagnant, then this is about to change for you this week. And we have the Six of Pentacles here, right? I think this is all about your finances. That's what Six of Pentacles in this case is. You're working with multiple people, you're being very active, you're making money. All right? Cool. Let's see what you're not expecting to happen, Capricorn, this week. We've got the Knight of Swords, we have the Sun, we have the Queen of Wands, and we have the Six of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with um, air sign, Gemini, Libra or Aquarius or you could be dealing with um, fire sign, Aries, Leo or Sagittarius. So I think this is only indirectly related to you. I don't think this is going to be happening to you. Not necessarily. I think this is somebody you know. A friend of yours, a family member, someone you work with. It's just some news you'll hear about this person or about this couple or perhaps you'll witness it yourself in one in some way. Right? So this Queen of Wands, a male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. Um, most likely a fire sign, Aries Leo or Sagittarius. This person is uh, getting together with somebody else. Right? It could be an air sign, Gemini Libra or Aquarius, or it could be somebody else. So it's unexpectedly in terms of that the Knight of Swords is the fastest knight in the deck. So somebody is going to come in. And something is going to happen with this Queen of Wands, a friend of yours or a family member, right? And uh, they're going to go somewhere or they're going to form a relationship. Something is going to happen to that couple or that person. But it's nothing bad. I don't see anything bad. It's just something unexpectedly. Perhaps you never thought that 
this person and the other person will ever get together but this week they are and uh, they're quite happy about it right and the six of swords in this case is it's them um, driving off into the sunset <laughs> so hopefully uh, Capricorn you're happy for these people because they are happy all right so that's what you're not expecting Capricorn other than that have a great week and there you have it this was your tarot reading for this time period I hope it resonated with you and helps you live a better life one way or the other. Thank you for watching, sharing and subscribing.